A lot of phones and other devices have started using the new USB Type-C port. If you're wondering what all the fuss is about, keep watching. The first thing to understand is that Type-C refers to the physical connector. It is not a new, faster USB standard. You've seen common USB Type-A and Type-B plugs before, even if those names were never used. They were deliberately made different so that people didn't plug devices into each other the wrong way. Type-A was meant for the host side and Type-B for target devices. That means computers always have the Type-A port and devices such as printers and hard drive use Type-B. Mini and micro Type-B ports and plugs were developed later for portable devices such as media players and smartphones. While well-intentioned, the two standards have caused some confusion over the years. The new Type-C connectors are universal, so plugs can fit into ports either way and cables can be used with either side in any device. When two things are plugged into each other using USB Type-C, they tell each other what they are and how they're supposed to work. They can then negotiate things like power transfers for charging. Now you can plug all kinds of devices into each other, but that doesn't mean they'll all work the way you think they will. Some will show options on screen for you to decide, and others simply won't work at all. USB Type-C does not guarantee high speed. Most of the smartphones currently shipping only support USB 2 speeds through the Type-C connector. You'll see the term USB 3.1 used interchangeably with Type-C, but even that refers to different speed levels. The highest speeds are also available using regular USB 3.1 ports. Speed also depends on the cable you use. Both devices might support high-speed transfers, but if the cable only works at USB 2 speed, you'll be knocked down to that level. Regardless of speed, USB Type-C also allows more power to be sent than previous standards. That's why you'll see it being used to charge laptops or drive monitors. You'll soon see desktop hard drives, speakers, and new kinds of peripherals which don't require separate power sources. However, once again, this will only be possible if you have the right cables. Ordinary USB Type-C cables cannot handle this much power. On top of all of that, USB Type-C's most intriguing feature is that it lets devices channel other kinds of data over the same cable, for example, DisplayPort video signals. This means one single cable can carry pretty much everything a computer needs in terms of input and output. You'll see products like Docs, which let you connect a whole host of peripherals to an ultralight laptop with one cable, and even charge it at the same time. Not all devices will support all alternate mode, so once again you could end up with two products that can be physically plugged into each other, but aren't designed to work together. We're already seeing Type-C on smartphones, laptops, motherboards, and portable devices. Type-A and Type-B are far too common to disappear just yet, but eventually they will become afterthoughts. Get ready for a new world in which you only need one type of cable for your smartphone, computer, or any other device. Just don't expect them all to work together perfectly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at Gadgets360.